to get breakfast and it's the last week of school. So we're all freaking out and it doesn't feel like the last week of school. But it's a really beautiful day out. I took a nap because it's such a beautiful day out and I think I was a little bit dehydrated sitting out in the, the warm heat. It's 80 degrees today. I change outfits. My friend actually sent me this really beautiful bush that is fully in bloom right now, not too far away from campus. And she's like, you should go take photos. And I'm like, I go, I go do that now. next year that is doing a lot of things. Now I'm off to the library to go study. It's 9 p.m. and I still got lots of school to do. It is final season, so let's go. I'm meeting up with my family, like the big and little system in one of my clubs, and I haven't seen them in forever, so I'm so excited to see them.
And we got her this card yesterday, but we're also making her chocolate strawberries. Chris got three different kinds of chocolates. She got Ghirardelli, Nestle Toll House, and the, the off-brand white chocolate chips. The birthday card pops up. Does she have a thing for dinosaurs? No. no. But it plays a happy little tune. <laughs> One frame right now, but the, I feel like Babish.
kept him from getting a shirt. But also, he looks in a much better mental state than him. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Angelette. Happy birthday to you.
first day of my finals. <sighs> my allergies are kicking my ass, so if I sound congested, it's because I am. Today I have my final oral exam for Chinese, and to be honest, am I feeling a little nervous? Yes. Do I think it'll be okay? Yes. I am optimistic. I am optimistic. You know when you do something and you're just really proud of it? Like, oh my goodness, I really created that. Or I did that, like, damn, that was me. That's how I feel about Chinese because I've gotten way better at Chinese than when I initially started studying it. I think it's kind of nuts that this is gonna be the last Chinese class I'm ever gonna take. I've been prepping my test materials and I've written out kind of draft answers to questions that could be asked. I'm just gonna practice that now and also eat my breakfast along the way. Also, yes, I'm wearing a pee pee poo poo shirt. It is Chris's. I did borrow it. I have no explanations for this. I, I really don't. I guess it brings me joy. Marie Kondo, your way through life, y'all. down the stairs very good hello i have finished my oral exam it didn't go too bad my professor was very nice about it i have a really busy day it's a busy monday today's the second to last day of classes so i picked up lunch from the delicacy Del deli i have a meeting with my professor in an hour i have a business call at 3.33 and then I have to go grocery shopping for a club event that we have BSA meetings so it's just like one day I only have one class it just fills up so quickly with other obligations so let's get her done <laughs> this is Sina my former woman and gender studies professor My Asian mom will be so proud of me right now. I feel like pepperoni muffin on TikTok. <laughs> Why would not make those so long? Because it's expensive and we went to Eden today, so it was a little cheaper there. Mango honestly just reminds me of home. My dad used to buy a huge 1T pack from Costco and it's all we would eat for a week. I used to get sick of mango pretty easily, especially if it wasn't chilled. I hate room temperature mango, but now it just reminds me of home. Dried mango doesn't hit the same for me. It hits different, but it does not.
ini. Ya. Let's get into it. I'm dropping out of college.